on me. <laughs> Get off me. I'm not on you. If children were designed with parents in mind... Cookies. Each box comes with a free hug. Oh, honey, let me help you. Mm. Five dollars, mm. please. No, I don't want the whole box. I just want one cookie. That mm. is for one cookie. Well, how much for the whole box? Twenty-four. Twenty-four dollars a box? That's pretty steep. I don't set the prices. I just sell them. When I was your age, a box of Girl Tracker cookies was only two dollars. When I was your age, I was eight. <laughs> And don't be so quick to judge, honey. These could be the best cookies I've ever eaten. Mmm. These are good. And they're good for you, too. Girl Tracker Healthy Fat-Free Cookies. Now with 50% less sugar. Mmm. Mm. And 100% more consumption. Slow down, Cookie Monster. I just made a tuna loaf. You'll spoil your appetite. That was the idea. I heard that. You should really try one, Liz. They look so fattening, I couldn't possibly eat a whole one. I'm here to help in any way I can. Oh, just a bite. You might learn something. Think of it as research. Hmm. Wow. These are good. Cookie, cookie, cookie! Don't give him one. Mm. Whoops. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> I need to sell 500 boxes so I can win a mountain bike. Here. What's this? My sign-up sheet. Just take it to your office and get your coworkers to buy them. Oh, and can you collect the money for me, too? No, honey. You need to sell the cookies yourself without any help from anyone. We'll buy one box, and that's it. Okay, two boxes. Three. Okay, three boxes, but no more. Divided, we starve. United, we eat. You're the meanest mom in the whole wide world. Zelda, you take that back right now. Liz's mother is the meanest mom in the whole wide world. At best, your mother can be second meanest. Mm. Mm. Ugh. Just what exactly makes these things healthy? They're so sweet. 10% sugar, 90% don't ask, don't ask. I need a drink. Chocolate if you've got it. Tough day? I didn't sell any. I almost got Mr. McGuire next door to buy a box, but Mrs. McGuire reminded him about his diabetes. People can be so selfish. I'll never win that bike. Well, don't give up, honey. You'll do better tomorrow. What will be different about tomorrow? Well, it's, um, uh, not today. Oh, right. Clearly, they'll let anyone be a parent. Oh, my. What you working on there, Liz? Oh, mm, cookies. Mind if I help myself? You might not want one. I just had the lab analyze these Girl Tracker cookies, and they have the most horrific ingredients. They're 90% lard, yet they're labeling them healthy. And my daughter is selling them. 
Whoa, you sent your daughter's cookies to our lab to have them analyzed on company time? Interesting. Hey, Liz. Just a courtesy call, reminding you about tonight's order. Oh, Gary, thank goodness you called. I need advice. That's what I'm here for. What's the problem? Girl Tracker's healthy, fat-free cookies. Not healthy, and definitely not fat-free. They're using false advertising with their ingredients, and they need to be reported. You're gonna blow the whistle? I want to, but Zelda's supposed to sell them. Be careful, Liz. Those corporations will try and squash you like a bug. Didn't you see Erin Brockovich? Yes, and Erin Brockovich won her case, Gary. Yeah, but you're not Julia Roberts, Liz. What do you think I should do? That's a great idea! Hello, is this the ugly truth? Hello. Hi, it's me. Put on Channel 4. What's on Channel 4? Not what? Who? You're on TV? About a half hour ago. It's on tape. Girls, come here! Mom's on TV! Holy cow! When did the game come on? This wasn't listed. Dad, change the channel. Whoa! Two games? Dad! Good afternoon and welcome to The Ugly Truth. I'm your correspondent, Al Salzberg. Today's special guest, Mrs. Liz Lawson, here to spill the ugly truth and nothing but the ugly truth about a product we're all familiar with. Thank you, Al. My daughter Zelda is a girl tracker. A girl tracker, huh? I knew those little brats were up to no good. Uh, well, no. It's, it's their cookies. They have the most terrible ingredients, yet they market them as healthy. What is she doing? I'll never win that bike now. She's such a meddler. The cookies are 90% lard, and the public needs to know. I've already sent a fax to the FDA, and I'm awaiting their response. No! And there you have it. The harsh, ugly truth about girl tracker cookies and their despicable ingredients. Thank you, Mrs. Lawson. <laughs> Hello. So what'd you think? You looked great, honey. The camera only added nine pounds. About the broadcast. Is Zelda upset? Can I talk to her? Well, she's a little distracted right now. <clears throat> I'll call you back. Cal just told me something very disturbing, Liz. He said you've been a rat. And Gordon hates rats. Wouldn't telling on me make you a rat? No, no, no. Cal's more of a weasel. But why quibble? I know about your little visit to the ugly truth, and you better pray sales aren't negatively affected by the expose. Why do you care? We make girl tracker cookies, Liz. Snack food makes them? Uh, that's impossible. Turns out it's one of our subsidiaries. Oh, you're in big trouble, Missy. But the ingredients are so unhealthy. Unhealthy? Can't you see he's not familiar with that term? Why didn't I know about this? Don't ask. And Gordon said that if sales take any kind of plunge, I'm going to be fired. And what about me and my needs? I'm sorry, Zelda, but these cookies are really unhealthy. I don't think you should be selling them. Thanks to you, I'm not. No one's buying them anymore. But they have the potential to sell like hotcakes. You know, I never understood that. If hotcakes are so easy to sell, why aren't they selling those door to door? Oh, this is such a mess. What am I going to do? I'll get it. I'm Frankie Pancakes. Frankie Pancakes? Frankie Pancakes is a gangster. He's head of the Pancake Syndicate. I'm looking for Liz Larson. I'm Liz Larson. Frankie Pancakes, a reasonable man. How do you do? This is my husband, Joe. Oh. I'm flattered, but I'm married. What can I do for you? You poked your pretty little nose where it didn't belong. I beg your pardon? My girl tracker cookie sales could go way down because of you. Your girl tracker cookies? I thought you just said snack food makes them. They produced them for me under a subsidiary. I cut a deal with some weasel named Gordon. How long has this been going on? Just between us. Ever since sports gambling and escort services hit the internet, it left us no choice. We had to branch out and diversify. Now... Nah. I saw your little expose. Couldn't keep from shooting your mouth off, could you? I had an obligation to tell the public what I knew. And now you have another obligation to me. What's that? 
I want you to go back on the ugly truth and tell the public that when you said girl tracker cookies were bad for them, you were telling a big, fat, ugly lie. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pancakes, but I can't do that. These cookies are really bad for your health. So is disobedience. Is that a threat? Yes. And if you don't listen to me, I'll torch your car. My car? Oh, you'll have to do better than that. Fine. You want to play hardball? We'll rip out your cable. You are a bad, bad man. He's got us backed into a corner, honey. We'd better do what he says. No, Joe. I'm not going to let anyone push me around. Those cookies need to be shelved. If that's the way you feel, I'm behind you 51%. Joe! Mom! Everybody down! Yeah, what is it? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's not a melanoma. It's a marinara stain. Now, I'm in the middle of something, so I'll call you back. <laughs> Family. And speaking of family, I understand one of your daughters is a girl tracker. <gasps> she is. Okay, it's me. How go your sales? Kinda slow. No thanks to your mom. Luckily, I have a solution. Here, if you're having trouble making sales, watch this training video. As for you, I'll give you 24 hours to rectify your mistake or else. Hello, I'm Frankie Pancakes, and welcome to my training video. Mmm, these cookies are so good they should sell themselves. But in case they don't, always remember the three most important words in sales. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Forget it. Under no circumstances are you to watch this tape. Mom! I do not want you selling these cookies. Mom! Have a good day, son. Cookie? No, thanks. It's fat-free. I'm not interested. Now, run along, little girl. How's your family? Are they healthy? Pardon me? Sheldon is such a nice boy. Such a good speller, too. It'd be a shame if anything were to happen to him. <laughs> I'm not buying a cookie, kid. Then consider it a gift from me to you. No, no, really, it's okay. Really, I... I offer you a cookie and you refuse? Oh, Sheldon! Remember us? Please, don't hurt me! All right, here, I'll buy a box. Just call off your goons! 75 and you're buying two, capiche? Fine, just leave Sheldon alone. He's so helpless. Thanks, Sheldon. No problem. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. What is that supposed to mean? That it's all just blowing up in my face? I was going more for the your time is running out here metaphor, but uh, that works too. I'm oh, so sad it's your last day here. <laughs> Don't count your chickens. This new cookie prototype I'm working on is much healthier, and I think the actual cookies are going to taste pretty darn good. <laughs> you don't like them? Well, I want to like them. Here you go, boy. Do you think Frankie will like them? Of course he'll like them, honey. But just in case he has a picky sweet tooth, not to be confused with his gold one, maybe we should all go to a safe house. Perhaps one with a, a large screen TV and a satellite dish? Oh, I'm not going to hide from this man, Joe. Well, think of the kids, honey. He's dangerous. We need to lay low. Then you take the kids and go live with my mother for a while. On second thought, I think we can probably stick it out. Hello. Oh, hi, Mr. Kleiman. She did what? Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I'll take care of it. Zelda! A word with you, young lady. Sheldon Kleiman's father just called. Is it true? So I'm duping people into buying the goods. But once they do, they seem to really like them. Duping. He said you threatened his son. The kid's a decoy, a stooge, if you will. We took the old man for a ride. No harm, no foul. 
Zelda, you go and give him back his money. Right now. And stop talking that way. You're scaring me. Now you got two things to be scared of. Sails away down. Time to make your life real unpleasant. Who wants to go coffin shopping? <gasps> Sorry, but how much more unpleasant do you think you could make my life? They're having a sale at Death Mart. I've narrowed it down to either the one with brocade lining or the one that comes with an intercom in case I'm buried alive. Hey, a little courtesy. I'm in the middle of intimidating here. Listen, Buster, my osteoporosis is so bad I'm one sneeze away from having my rib cage disintegrate into dust. You really think I'm going to be intimidated by you? Uh, you know, Mr. Pancakes, uh, no one here wants to die. But if you've got your heart set on killing someone, she's obviously ready to go. Hey! You're in way over your head. You think you're the only one who's got family issues? My old lady tried to have me whacked just because I put her in an old folks' home. And check out her last message on my uh. pager. Die pig, love ma. See? Well, at least your mother has the decency to try to get it over with all at once. Mine kills me a little bit every day. I bet your mother did the best job she could. She obviously fed you. Food was a substitute for the love she would held. You too? I'm gonna be sick. This time it's not from germs, bacteria, or parasites. Look, Mr. Pancakes, I'm sorry for your mother issues, but in case you didn't notice, I have my own mob to run. Now here are some healthier cookies I created. They're just as tasty. Try one. How do I know it's not poisoned? You eat one first. Do I have to? Joe! I love you very much. There you are. <gasps> Ma, what are you doing here? I had you followed, making sure business is up to snuff. You gotta stop it, Ma. I'm running the business now. Yeah, running it into the ground. Hey, she's a fink. I saw her on TV. I hope you're teaching her a lesson. I am. Then why does she still have teeth? I gave her a warning. What you do, cut her cable? It's actually quite the effective revenge tactic around here. You're pathetic, Frankie. You know that. See what I mean? Always with the put-downs. Another ingrate kid. Where do they get off? Hey, do I know you? I don't know, you do look familiar. Were you ever a patient at Fernwood Hospital? I love Fernwood. They're the ones with the heated toilet seats. Cushion, too. I knew I knew you. I never forget a curved spine. <clears throat> and I never forget a disease. Phlebitis, 1993, right? That's right, we shared a room. You had that Lou Gehrig scare, right? Turned out to be bad fish. Halibut, wasn't it? Haddock, but close enough. You're good. How you been? Okay, but when you have an ingrate for a daughter and an underachieving son-in-law, every visit is like that shooting pain you get in your left arm. It's like looking in a freaking mirror. I didn't think the universe was big enough for the two of them. You show your mother some respect. You think it was easy putting up with you and your expectations? And what about all your afflictions, mother? It's not easy watching you die for 30 years. With me, it was 40. Well, we I'll live the, the two of you. of you! Good point. Look, Frankie, I apologize to you for any inconvenience I may have caused with your cookie business, but a change had to be made. And if you're as reasonable as you claim, I'm sure we can work out a solution that'll benefit both of us. Writing us out is causing me to lose a lot of business. I made money. You swindled, Zelda. A buck's a buck, tits. Stop talking that way! Zelda? What am I supposed to do when they go off the market? Make them healthier so we can get them back on. Fine, we'll reduce the sugar by 50%. And you can take out the 90% don't ask, also known as lard, in combo with various other unknown animal fats. That's the secret recipe! And from the look on your hubby's face when he demoed the new batch, those won't exactly sell like hotcakes. Which is why you should forget cookies and sell hotcakes. Nobody's selling them anymore. It's genius. You can call them uh, pancakes hotcakes. Hey, that's not a bad idea. It has a nice ring. Make them whole wheat and we have a deal. What the heck? Let's go for it. 
You're a tough broad, Lawson, you know that? I could use someone like you. No, thanks. I get enough intimidating people using strong-arm tactics at home. Good point. Do you realize what you have here? Yes. I feel a warm moment coming on. Take me home! Or to a home. Need a ride? If it's no bother, maybe you can drop me off at the hospital. I'm having elective surgery in an hour. What are you getting? I haven't decided yet. Have your lids done. Really helps you see the pain you're causing your loved ones. Oh, well, that was more frightening than I let on. You're amazing. You stood up to Frankie Pancakes. That? That was nothing. I mean, the way I stood up to my mother. Do I still have to give the money back? Zelda! Zelda, you're my youngest daughter, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Ever. Yes, Daddy. I give that promise a week. But that's almost a month in dog years. Guess who won a new mountain bike? You? Yep. Who wants to help me assemble it? I do. Assemble it? It's a mountain bike. Shouldn't they do that for you? The three most beautiful words in the English language are all assembly required. The three greatest words in the English language. Feed Bob now.